you think it's going to sell out? What? Fright Fest. Well, which movie looked best to you? Um, I don't know. Well, there's Kamari Manku. There's Camp Blood. Mm -hmm. Full Moon Silver Bullet. Or Bride of the Living Dead. The horror movie. <laughs> Two, please. Fight fast. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you have to have an opinion on this. No. Fast zombies or slow zombies? I don't know. Fast? No. Fast zombies are a total abomination. You lose all nuance. If you think about it, zombies are a total metaphor so for... So we're locked in here all night? No. Yeah. If you can handle it. Greetings, my beloved Italian. Welcome to Fright Fest 2011. <laughs> Four tremulous tales to invade your cinemaplex tonight. These four distinct tastes of terror will run throughout the night. If the first taste isn't enough, go back for seconds, thirds, fourths. This is a buffet of blood. Gorge yourself on gore. But it's not for the faint of heart. At any point you find the horrors too much, You'll find a chicken exit located just left of the screen. Sit back. Relax. This, this is my Japanese import of choice. Kamari Monku. Really? I have never taken the chicken exit. Wow, you must be so proud. I'm leaving. Oh, really? Right, the good part.
What happens? You get spooked? I mean, you could have left. Remember the whole chicken exit? You're my ride. I'm fine. What's next? Uh, full Moon just started in Theater 5. Perfect! All right. Hey, pal, what we miss? Just the standards. Full moons, owls, and a guy with a monstrous secret. <laughs> awesome. Are you okay? We just stay in here all night. I don't know. I just I need a second to think. Okay. So, do you do this for all of your first dates, or am I special? from werewolves and J-horror cliches. What? That you like me. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'm pretty cool. Yeah, you're okay. When you're not being a diva. Excuse me. <laughs> you know what? All my attention's on you now. So don't screw this up, lover boy. Pressure's on.
Paris is Michael Martin. Michael Martin was in Silver Party slang. The, the killer in Camp Blood is Norman Ferris. I think I love you. I know. Chicken exit. Do you think we can push through? Well, we're gonna have to before Jeez. they come fully to. I'm kidding. It's our only way out. sure how I'm gonna top this for a second date. Second date? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I kind of want to take you out again if, if you want to. I had fun. And I guess you could say I saved your ass in there, so I feel like you owe me. I owe you? Okay. One condition. No movies. Do you hear something?
Tis a wonderfully dark evening out there, my hell-bound hotties. Tonight, we immerse ourselves in a tale of unyielding passion for stardom and glory. It starts as an all-too-common journey of a starry-eyed small-town girl searching for her legendary place in the land they call Hollywood. The fortune, the friends, the parties, the beach house, the clothes, it's all within reach with one lucky break. Begs the question, what would you sacrifice for that precious 15 minutes of fame? I know, the market is hot for that right now. You know, right? <laughs> well, you're a good man, Tom Baker. Say hello to that wife of yours for me. Ah, so, Kara, our agenda for the meeting was... It was uh, feedback for auditions last week. That's right, sweetie, feedback. And I have that for you here somewhere. No callbacks this week. Long look, uneven read, needs to work on timing, delivery. Okay, well we can work on some of this. So, um, do you have any plans this evening? Look, thank you for taking me on these past couple of months. Especially because no one else would. I can't do this anymore. Do what? This. With you. I need my break soon and you're not getting it done. The money that I saved to get out here is almost gone. Well, these things take time, Kara. You will guess what? I'm almost out of time and I'm almost out of money. When I left, when I left home, I told everybody that I was gonna come out here and that I was gonna make something of myself. And if I don't, if I do not make it, I'll end up going back up. I can't do that. It would be humiliating. And I have just a little bit of pride in me left that this town hasn't sucked out of me yet. I'm sorry, goodbye. Miss Jacobson, I'm really sorry to bother you, but I didn't think I'd get another chance. Can I get your autograph? Sure. 
This is my first one. from you. This is my director, James Nixon. Sweetie, relax. Tonight's about you. Come on, let's get started. Through the ages, mankind has made sacrifices that we take for granted and can't imagine in today's world. Life's preciousness is in the eye of the beholder. In one's perceived tragic loss is another's necessity for survival. I have chosen my fate, Antonio, and I'm ready to take my place in history. Beautiful. Thank you. Truly, truly beautiful. So, how does it end? Or can you not say, I'm sorry, I just, I, I was just intrigued. No, it's okay. We need to share that part with you. You die. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, that's really intense. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I could just sense that was where my character was going. You, you know, she seems very tragic in her nature. Indeed. But, Kara, I need you to listen to my next words very carefully, as it is the crucial difference between the role of a lifetime one no one will forget. And you walking out the door, a nobody, never to receive the fame she deserves. Okay. It's not just your character that'll die. You will die as well. My words don't need to be spoken again. You need to breathe. Your mind needs the air to process what I've laid out before you. I, I, I don't understand. I, We've all heard the urban legends. Gritty snuff films from faraway lands made decades ago for some prick millionaire. And the searches on the internet are extensive, but they never yield the elusive fruit that our sick minds yearn for. It's murder. No. Nor is it suicide. It's, it's art. Beautiful, tragic art. Masterfully shot, edited, and produced. A work of ultimate sacrifice by a queen of our ages. And the second it's uploaded, the buzz will begin and no one will believe it. But it'll grow. And soon it'll be verified, and the American media machine will spin. And they'll ask themselves, when did she? How did she? Why did she? And I will ask them, 
Why? There's a beautiful, brave, talented actress. Why can't she choose the sacrifice for it? The film of all films. James will explain everything. I have the storyboards right here. I'll walk you through them. It's actually some of my best work. Smell, but I don't know. Maybe it's better this way. I know that we haven't talked since I left, and I really wish that would have been different. Actually, I've been wishing how I wish, I'm wishing lately that a lot of things would have been different. I wish that Dad wouldn't have left you to be the bitter woman you've become. I wish. I wish that you wouldn't have used me as an outlet for your anger. <laughs> and most of all, I wish there would have been the daughter you needed me to be. <sighs> I wish a lot of things. I wanted to tell you, so that when they, when they ask, that you'll know what to tell them.
what should I tell the poets that would write about your name? You can tell them that mankind has made sacrifices we can't imagine in today's world. My life's preciousness is in the eye of the beholder. And one's perceived tragic loss is another's necessity for survival. <laughs> I've accepted my fate, Antonio. And I'm ready to take my place in history. you decided to come back, my fiendish followers. Tonight's morsel of mayhem takes place after curfew, on the back roads where libidinous teens experiment with their hormonal chemistry sets. The trouble is, hormones are volatile, and sometimes experiments explode. Then you have a mess in the back seat. teenager has gone missing, making seven in the past year alone. Authorities remain baffled by the disappearance. I should probably call my folks. They've been nervous about me going out ever since Ashley. Hey, it's okay. So, maybe we should move this to the backseat.
hear that? What? I don't know. I'm gonna take a leak. Everything all right? I heard something. Like... Like a scratching sound. Out here in the middle of nowhere. I'll check it out. Holy shit! It's a hookan. I you from the back of the car. Not really? Very funny. There's nothing out here. I swear on something. Me too. Are you sure you're okay with this? I can't do this. Did I do something wrong? You seriously can't hear that? Babe, you're losing it. What's it sound like? It's just an animal nosing around the car. We're in the country. Will you check it out? For me, please? You say there's nothing out there. I'd feel better if you did. Fine. Just in case I don't make it back.
Find out? Find out about what? I found her! I know what you did, Jason! This is some weird role-playing shit you're doing, babe. Did you babe all the others? Did you bring all of them out here? Hey, you knew I dated other girls before you. Yeah? Well, let's open this trunk up together. I'd like to hear you explain this one. Hey, give me my keys back. Come Stay on. away from me! Heather, where are you going? You're in here. Why are you doing this? Well, we were having such a nice night. Let's go back to the car. Damn, this is so ridiculous. There you are. Know who you are. What? I said, I know who you are. Heather, what the fuck? You thought it was gonna be this easy, didn't you? Take me out in the woods, grease me with your filth, dump me in a shallow grave. Sounds like a snap. What are you talking about? You know that shh, I- Shh, shh. Is that what it was like with all the others? Is that what it was like with Ashley? Uh, Ashley, your sister? You don't get to say her name! <laughs> and the girl in the trunk? What about her? How long were you gonna drive around until you finally killed her? 
<laughs> Heather, babe. Listen, I don't know what you're talking about. Just listen to yourself. You know, I thought about turning you in when I first had my suspicions. But the courts, they just have a way of letting procedure get in the way of justice. But you're not gonna weasel your way out of this. Look, I had nothing to do with Ashley's death. I swear on my mother's grave. Oh, sweet. No, you're not gonna hurt anyone anymore. You're not a boogeyman. You're a swine. You're crazy. I deliver you to your demons. Don't, 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 don't! Did you hear something? I didn't hear anything. Whoa, well, wait. No. I heard something. Like... what? Like... I didn't hear that. Greetings on this claustrophobic eve. Tonight's tale of burden is sure to hit close to home. After all, what could be safer than the four walls of your domain? 
One man has felt this safety for years, rarely setting foot into the frightening world beyond its brick and mortar. But when forced to a new home, the security he once knew becomes but a shadow. And the terror he feels from the outside can just as easily reside within this inside man. Done unpacking your kitchen. Okay. Plates. Tony, the plates are gonna go here, okay? Plates. Okay. Phil, so, when's that guy coming? Oh, he'll be here anytime. I believe his name is Dr. Hayes. Right, Marcus? Yeah, that, that's right. Um, would you uh, mind going and get that last box out of the car from the place? Sure. Thanks, appreciate You have got to stop this. Calling every time you feel a little uncomfortable. Do you know Sue couldn't get back to sleep last night? And so far she's had to come over here every day to take care of you. She's exhausted. Hey, can't you see? You're killing her, Tony. I'm just really tired. Look, moving out has given you the opportunity to be the big brother that you should be, that still needs you to be. You want that, don't you? Let's start fixing what we can fix. We need our own time. We need our own space. All right, buddy? Still always having to take care of me. I'm the older brother, and it's time I fix what I can fix. Well, that's that's wonderful. If uh, if that's your attitude, then uh, I really think I can help. Now, uh, my uh, my goal, Tony, is to work myself out of a job. I want to hear your problems but also help you find solutions. Uh, after meeting your family and, uh, and hearing the issues, uh, I want to start uh, tackling an area that I, I think will give you and your family the most freedom. Would that be okay with you? Yes. All right then. I want to focus on your, your fear of the outside, your uh, agoraphobia. Being confined in a new house has uh, taken its toll, am I right? I want you to do something for me. And for yourself and Syl and Marcus. I want you to get the mail.
Do you think you can do that? Um, think of it as a step toward becoming the older brother you want to be. I, uh... Tony, I'm right here. Phil, Phil, I don't think um I'm right here, okay? Was that really necessary? I'm sorry, Syl, but that was a really good step for him. I also had to gauge the severity of his condition. Well, you've done it. So we're finished here? So, Dr. Hayes is professional. Listen to him. You have to trust the process. I can't help if you won't let me. We're running late. Why don't you wait in the car while I finish up here? Please. Fine. You were so brave. I'm so proud of you. We're done for today, Tony. Here's my number. You can call any time, day or night. And here are some pills. They'll keep you calm when you feel anxious. They'll also help you sleep. Promise me you'll take four before bed. I promise. You did great. I'll see you next week.
I'm Dr. Hayes. Um, this is Tony. Um, I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm, I'm seeing and hearing strange things, and, and I think. Well, I think it's the pill you gave me. Well, yeah, instead of calming me down, they're, they're making me see things. That happens, right? The pills are messing with my head, right? No, it is. I didn't start seeing things after I took the pills. And I just took another one, so. Dr. Hayes? Dr. Hayes! Dr. Hayes laying here on the ground, but he's not moving. What? Okay, I, I just pulled up. Oh my 
car. No, 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 no. He's dead. What happened? I don't know. But last night, I had a nightmare. There's a lot of noises. He's dead, Tony. And he's not a doctor. He, he's somebody I hired. What? I, I thought if we got you stoned, I, more afraid of the inside than the outside. I was trying to help you, Tony. You needed it. We needed it. I don't understand. Is that Dr. Hayes? Marcus! What's going on? Marcus! I, I, I don't I don't know. Tony? What have you done? I don't know. You, you've killed somebody. What's wrong with you? I, I don't know if we can help you with this one. I'm scared. Don't worry. He's gonna get all the care he needs now. Happy hackings, whorehounds. Thanks for stopping by for another sloppy hour of gory goodness. Tonight's lesson comes from the world of academia, where young men and women devote their lives to the pursuit of knowledge. Only tonight, these pursuers become the pursued. It's gonna take more than book smarts to escape the scholarly scourge haunting these hollowed halls of gross anatomy. Okay, ready to do this? All right, now we need to start by exposing the thyroid. Now it's just below the surface, so cut lightly. No, 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 you gotta cut more down the middle. You can, you can cut against a cricoid, like a cutting board. I don't know why you're taking so long. Internal mode, anyway. Fine, then you do it. I'll probably go faster if you do it anyway. All right, nice. Let's get busy. Sorry, bud.
Hey. No, I'm still working. Oh, uh, probably about another 20 minutes or so. I know, I know. I can't wait to see you either. <laughs> yeah, well, just think about your life as a kept man when I'm a rich doctor. <laughs> yeah, I know. Switch the tables around. Pretty cool, huh? What? Oh, you pissed. Another brilliant career cut short. gonna scare me twice in one night. Uh. Okay, I get it. You're super creepy. I seriously have to study. Okay, I'll take the bait. I wonder where more is. You in here? Ooh, fresh one. Gnarly.
It's the weirdest thing. I thought I heard you screaming earlier. Where, are you here? Yeah, where are you? I'm gonna need you. And why are you whispering? I need you to leave. Whoa, man. Whoa. 